Yes, an attorney read it. this. Um, thank you. Uh, please vote. Motion carries with all council members voting yes. All right, item number 12, discussion, um, if possible vote regarding request to have um, Ferret Friendly City Vice Mayor Elicio and Council Member Baber. I'll, I'll take this one, only because my esteemed colleague said he never wanted to have his name associated with ferrets in the news. <laughs> he gets it now. Um, as you, as all of us know, a few months ago, we had these huge things of paper asking us to make La Mesa a ferret sanctuary city. And all of the troubles that the ferret owners are having because of a 1932 law, by the way, ferrets are not illegal under federal law. In fact, they're legal in all 50 states except for Hawaii. And having gone through regarding animal law, the fights that... Um, you have to with the California um, fishing game and how they operate. I thought, oh my goodness, this we got a, we've got more people here supporting ferrets than we do for libraries, for sewer, <laughs> for anything else. It's obviously something that matters. My thoughts are is to listen to them and ask questions and then talk about what we can do to help their cause if the council is so inclined. All right. We have uh, speaker cards. Uh, first speaker is Pat Wright. Sir. Good, uh, good evening, and thank you very much, and Christine. That was very touching. Um, really, you have no idea what I've been through in the past 30 years, including having my door being broken down and being sent to jail and maximum security uh, for owning ferrets. Um, and for the Mesa City Council to, to, to hear us and to accept us is absolutely heartwarming. I mean, we have been ignored and rejected by the Fish and Game Commission. When we are at the Fish and Game Commission, the commissioners are on their phone totally, totally ignoring us. There's no interaction. There's no answer to question. Um, the struggle to legalize ferrets has been a lesson in bad government. Um, in 2010, they required an environmental impact report for them to proceed. Uh, we spent $16,000 on it, and they rejected it because they needed a CEQA document. We spent $2,500 on the CEQA document, and then they took seven years to read it. I could tell you more, but um, I only have a couple minutes. Um, so by doing this, by giving a proclamation that the city of La Mesa favors fair legalization, you may bump us over the edge. We're dealing with a number of assembly people. They are afraid to take that step. I mean, we heard it. We were in the back there because we're trying to be polite and not make noise. We did hear a ferret joke somewhere there. You know, you know, so whoever introduces this bill is going to be the butt of a few jokes because we've been through this before and it's okay. We all got to take life not so seriously after all. Ferret lovers in the good city of La Mesa. So please come up with some sort of proclamation saying that the city of La Mesa supports its citizens and the rights of people. I get people from all over the world who signed that petition. I mean, we had the Swedish consulate uh, called USDA and got permission to bring their ferret in, and the ferret was confiscated at San Francisco airport. It's just a bad state law. We are not being listened to, except for now. So you started you know, something very positive. And if you do this, we can duplicate this throughout the state. And I think we're almost there persuading one legislator to introduce the bill. But thank you. I'm, I'm more grateful than you can imagine. Questions for Mr. Wright? Um, what, as you, as far as legislation, and it does have to come from the state, and right, we symbolic. can't, um, you, you understand that we can't preempt state law, even if I really wanted to. Otherwise, I'd also preempt it for some other stuff, <laughs> but um, you can guess that. Would it be most helpful, you mentioned a pro proclamation, but perhaps a letter to our local legislators would be, I mean, a proclamation is kind of a, surely not Robert, that necessary. Surely, yeah. Robert, the, the legislator for the whole city of La Mesa? Yes. Yes. She's been very kind, but she's nowhere near being the sponsor of the bill. We're looking for Randy Vopel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vopel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, we're getting some interest. I think we're almost, I just have a feeling, and I'm overly optimistic, and I'm usually wrong, but, you know, optimistic that he would. I mean, so a letter from the city council, I mean, I, mean, I don't know how you feel except for two of you. 
um, would be a tremendous help. Uh, Member Lisa, uh, yeah. in addition to, yes, but the, the concept of the proclamation would be also to set a standard for other cities, so I'd still like to do a proclamation. Okay. Wonderful. You. What and, great neighbors I have. And again, and again, we aren't saying that we are suspending state law, changing our law. We're urging the state to recognize pet owners and our fellow citizens who are ferret owners in La Mesa. That would be extremely helpful. Thoughts? <laughs> and the rest of the council wants to kill oh, me I'm, there. I'll be honest. I'm for um, sending a letter saying that we support those who are trying to legalize the ferret population in, in uh, California. Uh, as far as going to, as far as saying we're a ferret friendly city, I don't like that connotation. I kind of like Jewel the Hills. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I saw it. It's good publicity for, for La Mesa. Yes. <laughs> because La Mesa cares. You'd be surprised who doesn't. I think saying ferret friendly is purely symbolic. I don't think it carries any weight of law. Because no. we don't have the authority to trump state law, but I think it sends, it's a symbolic gesture. Just like all of our other proclamations, like declaring it fire week or, you know, all the other <laughs> proclamations we do. But I agree with Councilman uh, McWhorter. I'm for people being able to own uh, an animal that's deemed um, it's not a hazard to the environment and anything else that um, from I didn't I didn't read all the material, but I, I it's not did, in 78 pages. Right, so I read I read quite a few, and so <laughs> but I would have to agree with you. I'm I want to stay away from um, sanctuary or friendly or anything else, just because there's so many other things going on uh, to take action in using those terms. Um, I think it opens a wide gate. But um, to to try to get someone at the state legislation to hear people that are passionate, I am for that. Thank you. So could we declare it Ferret Month like we declare everything else month? <laughs> we have to look at the language. Okay. So I think so the city attorney, if we're going to go in that direction, um, needs to look at the language and um, before before we all start issuing that, before we sign everything. Mr. Parent? Yeah, just a uh, couple things. I, I'm perfectly fine with sending a letter to, to our lo local legislators and, and, and asking them to, to, to pursue this. Um, I did. Uh, I also want to, you know, recognize the, you know, the efforts of you and the other folks who have um, been, you know, drumming up a lot of attention on this. It's certainly been noticed. Um, I also appreciate that um, that you're no longer sort of the, characterizing it as a sanctuary city for ferrets. I think that was no, no. Yeah, and I just just to I sort of share some of the, the mayor's sort of perspective on that. I just think that was probably the wrong, the wrong. You want to, you don't want to tie that to to um, to your efforts to um, to some of the other conversations that we're having. And you learn. Yeah, no, for sure, and I think that's and that's fine. And 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 I, I made um, I made some tweets about that, right? That I didn't think that that was the the, the right way to approach that 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 language. And um, and you and I'm not saying I'm not sure that anyone read my tweets about it, but like you guys are are doing a, a different approach, which I think is great. And um, and I also want to uh, clarify too that uh, I actually think that uh, one of the things that I um, that I got from reading your materials was the point that you know that you know that your efforts are oftentimes you know made fun of, right? And uh, and and I mean, I did make a joke that used the word ferrets earlier today, but I want to assure you that it was not making fun of your uh, your efforts. Well, and we've heard and, everything. Yeah, no, I, I know I know you have. I know you have. And uh, and so, but I but I do appreciate the. Um, uh, the, the sort of more, more thoughtful approach that I think you're taking and what you're what you're asking for, and um, and I think that's a I think that's perfectly reasonable, and, and we can you know I, I'm I'd be fine with authorizing a letter. The only other thing that I'd want to just just flag I think that technically the pro a proclamation is something the mayor can do in La Mesa. Is that is that is that right? I can approve that. Yes. Right. And so so it's, it's, that wouldn't be a council action. That would be I think something the mayor would would choose to do, and, and then we. But well, what happens is a council member brings it forward. Yeah. And right. they just they ask for authorization. So I just ask that if it was brought forward mm -hmm. by uh, Vice Mayor Alicio and Council Member uh, Baber, that it go through just the city attorney. We we do that with everything. We had yeah. we have, mm -hmm. uh, proclamations for everything. And and by the way, I'm not uh, diminishing any of your efforts. You stayed outside. I'm sure it's gotten cold. It's Santa Ana <laughs> conditions, and so I appreciate you wading through. Now you get to hear what we hear all the time during the meetings, but also. Um, that 
I think there's many laws on the books in California that are antiquated, and I would agree that this is one of those. Um, for a long time, chickens weren't allowed in La Mesa. And, and when we would say that, people would start laughing too. Chickens in La Mesa and all the jokes about, you can imagine. Although we allow potbelly pigs. And again, I know that sounds like I'm making light of this. I'm not, but I'm just telling you what the facts are. And so that um, it, it took some time, but now we allow chickens in La Mesa. And so, and all the people, I'm not going to call them the chicken people, but everyone that was passionate about that, they were hit with the same thing that, that you're describing as well. So, um, I agree that I think letters and personal phone calls. We have relationships with people at the at the legislative level. You said Mr. Vopel, he used to be the mayor of Santee. And some people have personal connections with him. So I think that's all reasonable. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Yes, sir. Why don't we, if Member Alicia and I working with Pat, come up with some draft language sent by the city attorney, and you can look at it. It's within That's your city. Two, then do you want us to actually vote to authorize you to send a, a letter to? I think that each of us need to do that individually, yes. OK. That's what I would accept, that each of us would do or that individually. Or you on behalf of the council? And I think that each council member mm -hmm. needs to send that individually, Mr. Baber. It's my bedtime alarm, sorry. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to bring the, pro we'll have to work the proclamation well, to get some sort of, I think what they're trying to do is get I understand what's one, okay, and maybe right. there's out of a support of it. I, I'm just trying to, if so it's you're, the support, you the chance. But, but do we have the support to do a proclamation provided the city attorney is Absolutely. not letting us break the law? Absolutely. <laughs> no. okay. We are breaking let's, let's look at the law. Okay. Yeah. So, and I encourage each person individually. Fair enough. I mean, you have a phone, pick it up and, and make some phone calls. Okay. Yeah. Well, we right. will we will work with you and we'll get a proclamation. And thank you all for staying here and having, like I said, owned a breed of cat that's been the subject of governmental regulation. I know what it's like to have your beloved pet and being afraid that's going to be confiscated. So we'll or get it worse, together. Or worse. Or worse, yes. I've had him, I've had him euthanized. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming and, and, and taking the time and thank you, all of you for braving the cold weather and and staying out there and, and uh, showing That's your It's snowing out there. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I know. We're in here. It's I, colder in here than out here. <laughs> all right. Well, thank that's you. good to hear. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right, so you'll bring something forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, we'll, we'll work with the city. All right. <laughs> city attorney remarks. I think you've done enough talking today. I have some follow-up remarks on your questions. <laughs> Do you? Payback's not easy. No, that's what I asked you. Oh, no, no. thank you very much. I appreciate your time. You have nothing else to say? Then we stand adjourned until October 10th. Oh.